Oiwa and Ayamon were a poor young couple living in a small town. When the time came, Ayamon asked Oiwa for her hand in marriage, whereby she happily agreed. Soon after the wedding, the couple received news that they would soon have a baby. Oiwa was happy to be with her husband Ayamon. However, Ayamon was unsatisfied with their lack of money. He grew angry, depressed, and desired things beyond his modest earnings. As a result, Ayamon began to have an affair with a rich woman named Ume. One day, Ume's father came to visit Ayamon. He told Ayamon that it was a shame that he was married to another woman because Ume had fallen in love with him. An evil plot hatched in Ayamon's head. He had decided to secretly poison Oiwa and their unborn baby. To do this, Ayamon sought a special poison that would make Oiwa's death look natural. It was the perfect crime. Meanwhile, Oiwa was unaware of her husband's intentions as she prepared for the birth of their child. However, she had noticed that Ayamon looked nervous at the dinner table, and he wouldn't touch his food. When she hesitated to eat her meal as well, Ayamon snapped and told Oiwa that she needed to be strong for the baby. So, Oiwa started eating. With a cold expression, Ayamon watched as Oiwa was overcome with the effects of the poison that he had put in her food. However, the poison did not work as it was supposed to. Instead of killing her instantly, Oyawa's beautiful face began to peel as her eyes bugged out of her head and drooped in separate directions. It became apparent to Ayamon that Oyawa had not consumed enough of the poison for it to kill her. Afraid to finish the job, Ayamon carried Oyawa to her bedroom as she slipped into a deep sleep. When she awoke from her sleep, she remembered nothing of the poisoning, but was horrified to discover that she had lost her baby. To keep suspicion at bay, Aimon played the role of the concerned husband. He decided to care of her for a short while, but then thought of a way to get rid of Oiwa for good. After having her face disfigured, Oiwa did not want to leave the house, so Aimon offered to take her for a walk when it was dark. He then walked her to a cliffside. Aimon checked to see if anyone was around. When he saw no one, he pushed Oiwa from the cliff's edge. And so, Aimon planned for the funeral. Knowing that his money troubles would soon be something of the past, Aimon planned an extravagant funeral. Many people thought that Aimon was a saintly grieving widower. This is the reason why nobody questioned him when he and Uume became engaged just a month after Oiwa's death. The night before his marriage to Uume, Aimon was startled by a flickering lantern at his bedside. For a split second, he was certain that he had seen Oiwa's disfigured face. He then heard a sharp hiss. Ayamon swung a stick at the lantern, but soon realized that there was nothing there. He convinced himself that he had drunk too much alcohol, and with that, Ayamon went to sleep. On the day of the wedding, Ayamon had forgotten all about the specter of the night before. He watches his darling Ume walk down the aisle in her beautifully expensive kimono. When she stood before him, Ayamon removed Ume's veil, but beneath the veil, he saw Oiwa's disfigured face. It hissed. Horrified, Ayamon withdrew his sword and started to stab the specter. But when he withdrew his sword, Ayamon was devastated to see the corpse of his bride, Uume, on the floor. Ayamon fled from the wedding to his house. He heard laughter closing in on him. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. It was Uume's father, demanding that Ayamon open the door. But when Ayamon opened the door, he was again greeted with a disfigured face of Oiwa. It hissed again. Ayamon drew his sword again and attempted to decapitate Oiwa's specter. However, as he looked at to where the head had fallen, he was horrified to discover that it was Uume's father that Ayamon had killed. Ayamon heard Oiwa's <laughs> vengeful laughter echoing throughout the house. He panicked and screamed, requesting that she cease to plague him with her incessant taunts. When the laughter grew louder, Ayamon ran to the cliffs where Oiwa had been pushed. He then looked over the edge, hesitated, and then dove into the rocky waves, hearing Oiwa's laughter all the way down. After Ayamon's death, locals reported that he had not dived off the cliff, but rather, a disfigured woman had pushed him. <laughs>